This is Tank's vlog for April 13th, 2018. Friday the 13th. <sighs> well, Devils playoff started on uh, Thursday night in Tampa. And, you know, you gotta be, you gotta expect the shakiness that the Devils showed in the first period. I wasn't surprised they fell behind 3 nothing, and then they clawed their way back. Got within one goal, but ugh. Tampa had the answer. And ended up going on to win the game 5-2. to There were some positives, there were some negatives. Uh, Tampa's going to be a tough team for the Devils. So they are legitimately a cup contender. Uh, you just got to hope the Devils come out, play a little bit better, uh, get some of the nerves out of the way, and have a much better, sharper game on Saturday when they play the Lightning again. Hopefully we can get a, uh, a split back to Newark uh, for Game 3 on Thursday. But... Um, it's it's kind of what you would expect. It's not the uh, you didn't expect uh, to necessarily win, but it would have certainly been nice to get a win. Boston Bruins uh, they got off to a good start in their playoff series. They beat the Maple Leafs five to one. The game, though, however, will be. Mainly remember for Nazim Cardi's absolute total cheap shot on Tommy Wingles. Cardi was given uh, an ejection, game misconduct. Don't be surprised to see him sit at least a few playoff games with that one. I mean, Wingles was down on the ice, and he came in there, bull rushed him, ran him into the board. Dangerous play. Da dangerous. Dangerous play. And, uh... Hockey's a rough sport. A lot is loud. A lot of hitting is loud. But you just can't have someone get hit while they're on the ground. You can't do that. And just an absolute dirty play. The, the, made, made the Leafs 5-1 to one loss look even worse. Washington Capitals playing the Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets have never won a postseason series. Capitals always find a way to turn into the shrinky dinks in the NHL playoffs. Usually it's the second round when they play the Penguins. But, boy, we saw the shrinky dinks tonight. Capitals jumped out to a 2 nothing lead. Had a 3-2 lead late in the third period. But the Blue Jackets tied it and then won it on an absolute beautiful goal by Arden Panarin. Oh, hello, Columbus. And the shrinky dinks. They shrink in the playoffs. I, and where was uh, Alex Ovechkin tonight? Alex! Alex! <laughs> Once again, Alex Ovechkin. Disappearing when the game's on the line. Has there ever been a worse big game player than Alex Ovechkin? I mean, for all his 600 regular season goals. And he, maybe sometimes his numbers don't look that bad in the postseason. But man, it seems like all his goals come when in the playoffs come when the, the Capitals have multiple gold leads, win the games like four to one, five to one. But in those close one goal games, he never shows up. Never shows up. Nashville, the Presidents Trophy winners, hoping to avoid the Presidents Trophy curse. That off to a little bit of a shaky start, but man, did. They just come on like gangbusters in the dirt period. After a 2-2 tie, Predators scored three goals in the dirt period. Excluding two from Philippe Forsberg. As they just dominated the Avalanche 5-2. Meanwhile, in the Battle of California, uh, Vander Keen finally making his playoff debut after many years of frustration. With the Winnipeg Jets and the Buffalo Sabres and the Atlanta Trashers. Got two goals. As the Sharks blanked the Anaheim Ducks. Three to nothing. 
Mets are off today. They come home, begin a three-game series with the Milwaukee Brewers. But the New York Yankees were in Fenway Park trying to get the rubber game. And Rick Porcello had the Yankees tied up most of the day. Didn't allow a hit until the sixth inning. Uh, Yankees were down 6 nothing. Did score three runs in the ninth on a bases-clearing double by Gary Sanchez. But, man, they still are scuffling. 6-3, Red Sox win. Red Sox off to a 10-2 start. Yankees sitting at 6-7. and seven. Another team that's been off to a disappointing start so far is the Chicago Cubs, who are 6-6 six and six after a 6-1 loss to the Pirates, who sit at 9-3. and three. It was the Indians beating the Tigers 9-3. Uh, Lindor had a big home run in the game. Cardinals jumped all over the Cincinnati Reds. 13-4. Oh, Cincinnati. Oh, 2 and 10. Uh, I thought this would be the year that you show some positive signs. I guess not. Rockies rocked the Nationals 5 to 1. It was the Twins 4 nothing winners over the White Sox. Great outing by Jose Barrios. Angels beat the uh, Royals 7 to 1. They're 11 and 3. The Giants blanked the Padres 7 to nothing. NBA playoffs begin Saturday. Uh, before they begin, we have a look at the NBA awards. Take a look, click, click the links below. I'll tell you who I think should win the coach of the year, most improved player, the rookie of the year, sixth man, and defensive player of the year, and the MVP. Personally, I think the MVP should go to James Harden for what he did getting the Rockets to 65 wins. And I like Ben Simmons' as Rookie of the Year. But if you want to check out all my picks, click the link below. And uh, today's three stars are Jose Perios of the Minnesota Twins, Harden Panarin, who had a goal and two assists, the game winner in overtime, and Evander Kane, who's two goals, helped break the ice for the Sharks in their win in Anaheim. Today we uh, salute for birthday is Patrick Eliash, who turns 42. And we take a look back to 1978. The Yankees had a home opener, and uh, while they raised the banner for the 1977 season, they welcomed back Roger Maris, who at one time said he will never return to Yankee Stadium. But this is really when the ice thawed and fans really began to appreciate Maris for his great years at the Yankees. The game will also be remembered for fans littering the field with Reggie Bars. So check out the full story of Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.